everyone, and welcome to episode eight of Triton Vision. I'm your host, Devin A. Williams, and today I'm joined by Athletic Director Tom Ryan and Associate Director of Athletics for Internal Operations and Compliance, also our Senior Women Administrator, Becky Clark. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. All right, so to start things off today, our first question is, what do you both enjoy most about working in collegiate athletics? Um, well, it starts and ends with the student athletes, uh, being around them, being involved, and seeing them um, on the academic side, and then also being able to see them on the courts, the fields, the water, the sand is, is really fulfilling. Um, and then being able to see them after they graduate from here and see the individuals that they become. Um, that's really the most enjoying and fulfilling part of working in college athletics. Yeah, I, I would echo what Becky said. I've been here a long time, so the student athletes are where I get my most joy. You know, watching them um, compete, watching them come back as alumni with their families, um, and, you know, just the whole camaraderie that goes along with being in the athletic department. All right, so our next question is, what advice would you give to students who want to work in collegiate athletics in an administrative role? Um, I think jumping in. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of student workers in our department that get in as freshmen and are just involved. I think, I think you have to get in there, uh, whatever that is, whatever you're passionate about at the college, and get in and start doing it to see if it's really a love and if it's really something that you enjoy. But to get started, um, you know, I, I have two children that got into it as work studies and then, you know, it grew into a full-time job for them now. But I think whatever you're interested in, you need to kind of jump in with both feet and really immerse yourself in that activity and see, and see how much you like it. And, and athletics is no, uh, no different. You have to get into it because there's, it's, it's a lot of times it's who you know. Mm -hmm. So if you get involved and you can get in a department and you can network a little bit and you're a good worker, well, people just start talking about you and all of a sudden there's a position for you and, and that grows and the word travels to other schools because athletic directors or coaches, they all talk. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the biggest thing. The advice, the advice I would give would be to jump in, to, to get involved and see how much you love it and then let it take off from there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, Tom hit most of those points. I mean, the big um, themes there were jumping in, hard work, networking, and then um, passion. But I'll just tell a quick personal story that kind of goes along with everything he was saying. For me, I, I started out as a teacher, and it was not my passion, but I was also coaching while I was teaching, and I really liked the athletics part of it. Not so much the coaching, but it brought me back to when I was a college athlete, and so I wanted to get back into that world somehow. And so I, I reached out to all the local colleges until Tom Ryan answered me and said, yeah, come on by, do an internship. So. I just had to get my foot in the door and I had to show them that I'm a hard worker, that I'm willing to travel here every day after my full-time job and um, that I want to be in that world. And then, just like he said, the next year a position opened up and I got the job, they offered it to me pretty much right away because they knew that I was a hard worker and I was able to get in there. And since then, um, you know, joining tons of opportunities through the NCAA, through our conference, through uh, different streams is just been really great because you can see how much room there is to grow once you actually can get in. We get so many resumes from so many people for every position that opens on campus yeah. and you don't know one from the no from another but if you know somebody who knows that person those references go a long way. Yeah. If you know somebody that's worked in your department or worked uh, with you in the NCAA, whatever it might be, that goes a long way. And that's why I said the networking, you know, it's great to have a great resume. That's important. Mm -hmm. But having the one-on-one -on -one connection with people is, is a key. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely learned from just the past three years that I've been working with athletics. Networking is key. Yes. And I've been grateful enough to have met some various people throughout the past three years, yeah. especially this past year, yeah. and it's definitely been great forming those connections um, going into my senior year. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's, not, it's not any surprise that if people know you, they're more likely to give you an opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our last question for the both of you, um, we kind of touched on a little bit, but what is your favorite part about working in athletics? 
Well, I think I, we touched on the student athletes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're important, but the camaraderie, and you know, we we all stop playing the, our sport at mm -hmm. some point, and that teamwork, that chemistry, that pulling for one one common goal is kind of gone. But if you're a coach or you're an administrator in the athletic department, you you kind of find that niche again. You're mm -hmm. you're all pulling in the same direction, trying to have success in the classroom, trying to have success on the fields and courts and water, wherever it might be. And I think that is kind of something that keeps you going inside. You know, as yeah. people talk about, you know, everybody at Eckerd and keeps you young and those are all important things and it makes you feel good. So I would say, I would say the student athletes still, but I would say that camaraderie that goes along with athletics, whether it's administration or actually on a team. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah definitely. Those are my favorite things, still being able to have that competitive spirit with your teammates, but it's just new teammates now, um, is just great. And I love that it's it's always different. I love and don't love, but yeah. mostly love that it's always different. There's always something going on on campus. There's always things going on in our department with our student athletes, and it's constantly evolving, and we're always trying to change and, um, you know, keep up with everybody else and, you know, make Eckerd, make our student athletes exactly what they want to do and try to follow their vision. Um, so working with the student athletes, with our advisory student athlete advisory committee, doing those sorts of things um, is just really fulfilling for me to be able to see what they want and then be able to actually make it happen. Yeah, yeah. It's not. There's no routines in our jobs yeah, because no. <laughs> when you're dealing with all you know, 220 student athletes and you're dealing with all the different coaches and and the Sunshine State Conference. I mean, there's always something different yeah. that you're trying to work through. And I, I joke with my husband a lot. I say, oh, after this month, it should really calm yeah. down. Yeah. That's, that yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> that never happens. We, no. we just try to get over hurdles yes. that are down the road. And then there's another hurdle that's, that's just farther down the road that you got to get through. So. Oh, yeah. Yes. So our next few questions are for Athletic Director Tom Ryan. So as an Athletic Director, you hold a lot of responsibility. So what does your role entail and what does a typical game day look like for you? Yeah, I don't know what a typical day would look like for me because mm -hmm. they are different each, each day. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, the role is trying to hire great coaches, which I believe we have, to, to care for our student athletes. You know, the role is to try to uh, increase and fundraise for our operational budgets mm -hmm. so that the teams and student athletes have the right things they need to compete. Uh, scholarshiping, uh, um, I, we, I do some compliance stuff, but mostly Becky takes care of the mm -hmm. eligibility stuff. So that's kind of something that I've gotten away from as I, as I transition from compliance coordinator to coach to athletic mm -hmm. director. Um, so a normal day is usually made up, like today was meetings from 9 a.m. till 2 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then we got to sit down and meet with you, which is something new for us and different, so that's fun. Um, there's a lot of fundraising trips, which I'll be going on again this weekend. Uh, there's a lot of meeting with alumni. There's a lot of meeting with administration on campus. So it's, you know... It is new and it's mm -hmm. fun in some days, but other days it's 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 not things you want to do because mm -hmm. you still think about the student athletes and the coaches and can I be around them? And it's even though you have your own um, twists and turns with student athletes, I always those were more enjoyable because you know you're you know you're going to a means to an end, which is whether it's a means to get them to graduation or a means to get ready for the next game and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, my days in the last five years, I'm 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 learning, you know, because I was a coach. And now I'm trying to become a good administrator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether it's the fundraising, whether it's the administrative meetings, whether it's the conversation on next year's budget and scholarshiping, mm -hmm. um, whether it's talking to um, our faculty athletic rep about some academic things that are going on, either scheduling for classes or academic issues that might be coming up. So it, it's, it's new, you know, it's new and, and exciting in some ways, but, but uh, sometimes you want to you know, pull, pour out the bottles of aspirin and, and yeah. make sure that your headache goes away. So okay. it's, but it's, it's great. And again, the student athletes are what make it great. The coaches are what make it great. Yeah. So. Awesome. So our last question for Coach Ryan is you're not only an Edgar College alum, but also a former coach and player for the Tritons men's basketball mm -hmm. team. So what made you to s decide to stay at Eckerd for your career? Uh, we celebrated the reason why I stayed. We celebrated Coach Harley uh, a few weekends ago. Actually, it's more than a few now, uh, back on May 2nd. 
Uh, he was the former athletic director and men's basketball coach, and uh, uh, he's the reason that kind of drives me. You know, we talked about the student athletes a lot, but but he built something here, uh, and he started the athletic department, and he grew it from two sports to to fourteen, whatever we are now. And um, you know, the the kind of the, the his mission is something I've kind of taken on because of the man he was and how much I loved him, and and now it's it's. Eckerd College that, you know, I, I, he's gone, but I still love Eckerd College. I still love everything it stands for. You know, no matter what job you work in or even your family at home, there's some days when you want to bang your head against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> but but what Eckerd stands for and what the student athletes stand for and the students here at Eckerd, the community, it, it's it's a good thing. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've had one child graduate from here, but my older two were here all the time before they went away to college, and my youngest one still wants to come here. So, um you know, I always joke I couldn't get a job anywhere else, so I went and worked at Eckert. Mm -hmm. So I, some maybe some people might say that's true, but uh, I just love the place, and I, I love the man, and he had me fall in love with this place because of what he did and the people around and the other professors, mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of just turned into a way of life. You know, my wife graduated from Eckert. I met her here, so mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's a it's it's in my heart. Yeah, that's so. awesome. All right, well, thank you so well, much. Well. Uh, now we will move on to our questions for Becky. So you are, again, the Associate Director of Athletics for Internal Operations and Compliance, and also the Senior Woman Administrator. Mm -hmm. So what does your role entail, and what does a typical day look like for you? Good questions. Um, a typical day, like we alluded to before, is not the same. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not routine, but for sure, every day I'm communicating with coaches, uh, student athletes, and then my colleagues. Um, whether it be about scholarshiping, budgeting, um, compliance questions, academic related, um, any any sorts of those type of things. Um, and the interesting thing about my job is. At different times of the year, it's it, it's just different work that comes across my desk. Um, over the summers, a lot of it is eligibility for the upcoming year, so certifying all of our incoming athletes, as well as closing out the previous year. Um, everyone that graduated, um, financial aid type forms, um, our ASR, which is a big report that we have to complete every year, and then sports sponsorship demographic forms. So over the summer is, is a lot more tedious work, um, whereas during the year, it's more so working with the student athletes and getting through kind of the day-to-day to get ready once we're in the seasons, getting ready for the next season, and then moving forward through that. So um, my office I consider kind of like a catch-all because there's <laughs> random projects and things that I work on too. Um, but for sure it's you know business office related, compliance related, any sort of those type of things coaches and student athletes come mm -hmm. see me about. All right. Now referring to the senior woman administrator portion of my position, it is really being a resource for our coaches, our student athletes, and the general student body. Um, I really like to be available to talk, whether it be an issue that's going on on the team or just to talk about classes. Um, I meet with some of the club teams as well to get them involved with our um, athletic program. And really, I, I really enjoy that portion, and I'm taking on SAC as well, so working with our yeah. student athletes more. Uh, we meet once a month to work on different initiatives, and um, that's been really, really fulfilling for me, and um, that portion of my job has been really great. Are there any initiatives that you guys are working towards that you're especially excited about? Yeah, yeah. So one that we are working on, it's in the early stages, mm -hmm. but we would like to have readily accessible sports psychologist drop-in hours for our student-athletes. Um, and that's something that we're hoping to work towards in the upcoming year. Um, but we'd really just like some sports-specific um, professionals that our student-athletes could access when they need to. And we see a demand for that increasing throughout the NCAA, high school athletes, and beyond. So it's really something that we want, but it's solely being pushed by our student-athletes. They've been pushing it for the past couple years. And so it's something that we as administrators really want to see through. So that is coming up. Talk a little bit about your mentor-mentee program that you're trying to develop. Yeah, yeah, so that's another one. 
um, that I personally am working on for next year. So we have an on-campus uh, peer mentor program mm -hmm. and it's very well done and um, it's really grown throughout the years and I thought it was something that our department could use and we could really use that mentorship for our first year in transfers and um, it's called Tritons Together mm -hmm. and we're going to pilot it next year. I'm starting it as a small scale so we've got our SAC juniors and seniors next year have all volunteered to be the mentors and I'm going to pair them with first year transfer student athletes coming in and um, it's going to be a series of four different meetings throughout the years but multiple check-ins mm -hmm. and the goal is going to be retaining those student athletes, um, creating some cross-departmental connections as well as just helping the overall campus engagement. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Thanks. So our last question of the day is um, also for Becky. So you had an extremely impressive high school and collegiate basketball career, um, receiving numerous accolades, including the All-American Award. So how did your experiences playing basketball lead you to choosing your career in athletics? Good question. Um, so I really enjoyed my collegiate career and, and high school career, but being able to work with the team um, was just, it's something that you really can't put into words. It's, it just goes way beyond the court and you don't even realize it at the time. You're just playing basketball. You're just showing up for the game, the practice and, and trying to be, put the best, um, be the best you can for that day and, um, for your teammates. And so it, honestly, it didn't really hit me until after, um, I left sports and I was done with my college career because I, I majored in education, so I just, you know, continued with my path to be a teacher. And it, once I became a teacher and I was a coach, then it kind of hit me where I was like, I really like being involved in sports, but I didn't know necessarily how to make it my job mm -hmm. and um, to be able to pay the bills with it. And so I knew coaching wasn't really the route I wanted because I was a high school coach for track and field and for basketball. but. Um, it wasn't that wasn't necessarily the path that I wanted so I looked into different options I started a master's program online while I was teaching and throughout that master's program it talked about uh, high school AD path and then the collegiate path and then I thought back to my collegiate career and I thought about all the behind-the-scenes work that I didn't really think about at the time mm -hmm. All the people writing the articles, doing the streaming, doing the compliance I knew who they were but I didn't really put two and two together about how much went into it. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was almost like, wow, that could be something I could do. Yeah. And, you know, I reached out to some people I knew. I tried, you know, just getting a little bit more um, knowledge base with that. And so I knew I had to get my foot in the door somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's when I um, got a hold of Tom, and that's how I ended up coming here. Um, but I knew I wanted to keep sports in my life one way or another. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both so much for joining me today, thank and you. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Triton Vision, and we will see you again next week. Thank you. Thank you.